Hello filmmakers, Aaron here, and today we're announcing the release of our first After Effects script, Make It Real. So I got the idea for these presets a while ago when I was watching these really cool motion graphic videos and saw some super organic dynamic animations in these videos. So we can see here that stuff like this cassette rotating in and kind of jiggling around a bit or these buttons moving around. This poop actually, this poop one really got me. You can see that we have some cool wiggling and then some, some plopping and moving around. If we look closely into these animations, we can see there's a lot of detail that goes into the animation as we see these things jiggle and move around. So I wanted to make a preset that allowed you to easily achieve these animations in After Effects with just the click of a button. So some of it was fine-tuning keyframes by hand, and then some of it was actually gathered from real-world data. I actually went out and did some shooting of my own that allowed me to get some natural physics that would be difficult to achieve in After Effects or in actual physical simulators because it's difficult to achieve real physics without shooting something that's real. So I did motion tracking and we did a lot of different examples and compiled them all into one script that is here in After Effects. So here are a few examples of different presets that you will be able to use for your own animations in After Effects with the Make It Real script. We've got animations that will affect the position of your layers as well as the scale and rotation. I'm going to go through some of the ways that I like to use the presets later on in the installation but you can see here that although these animations are simple we can use them along with other effects or perhaps use them on a lot of different layers at the same time to achieve interesting animations that we see often in motion graphics. So here we're going to go over the installation instructions for installing the Make It Real script onto your computer. These instructions will work whether or not you have a Mac or PC, although your installation directory will be a little bit different if you have a Windows. I'm going to be doing this on a Mac. And I'm using After Effects CS6, but you can do this on CS4 and above. So here's the file I downloaded from vfxbro.com, and I'm going to just double click on it, unzip the file, and now it gives us this other folder here. I can double click on it. And here we have these different files. Now there are directions to install right here on the installation instructions PDF. But I'm going to show you how to do it right now in this video tutorial. So first thing I'm going to do is open up my computer and then I'm going to go to After Effects CS6. I'm going to open up the After Effects folder and then I'm going to click here on Scripts. And then I'm going to click here on Scripts Panels. Now I double click on the drag these into script UI and I select both of these and then just drag them in there. I'm going to ask it to replace. I already have installed it in there but I'm going to go ahead and replace it right now. So that's been replaced and now I can go back here. I'm going to open up After Effects and I'm going to go File, Scripts, Run Script File. And now I'm going to just select this file right here that says Make It Real Run This Script and hit open. It's going to ask me if I want to install or remove it. I'm going to click install. Then you're going to close out of this and quit After Effects. Now let's go ahead and open up After Effects again here. Okay so we've opened up After Effects again here and we can just click Windows and I have a bunch of other scripts installed but you're gonna see Make It Real right here. And so you're just gonna select Make It Real and now it's popped up. It might not have popped up there. It might have just been on its own somewhere. But you can move it around. Just drag it in and insert into the panel that you want it to be. So here we have our Make It Real script. And it's dockable, as we can see. And I'm going to go ahead and just start a new composition. Nice 1080, 30 frame rate. And what I can do is create a new shape layer. And I'm just going to hit Q a few times and then now I can just create this nice circle here I'm going to put in the center and make it real can be applied to any layer it doesn't have to be just a shape layer if you had a picture you could add it to the picture but all we need to do is with it selected click on the effect that we want it to apply 
So let's say we wanted this ball to drop like a billiard ball would drop. We just click on it, and now that effect has been applied here. And if we play through it, we can see that it drops just like a billiard ball. And so we have that cool animation. I'm going to undo this so we can show you the difference between the end here and not. If we clicked on the end here button and then selected the drop billiard preset, now it's going to start off higher and end in our original position. So that's a handy tool to have if we want to have our animations take place in a way that ends in our original state. So we can do this for any one of our presets. We can do it with scale or rotation. I'm going to try a rotational plugin here and this is the whip in preset. So I'm going to select that and we can hit play and not a whole lot happens. We can see that it sizes up. But one thing we want to know here is that all of our presets come with this handy make changes here adjustment. And so we can adjust the scale that this happens at, we can change the anchor point, and we can offset the rotation. So here I can take this and I'm see I'm gonna just drag my anchor point down. So now the anchor point is right here, and we can see we have a much different effect when we play through this. We can see that it whips in and it's a much more dynamic effect when we change that anchor point. We could even continue to drag it even further down, change up the scale, maybe make it two times that. And that's pretty drastic. Maybe we don't want to make it two times. Maybe we want to make it 1.2. And we can hit play and see that it just comes in nicely. We have a very organic effect. We could add motion blur. And it just took us adding one preset and a little bit of fine tuning on our anchor point. A lot of our rotational changes are going to be better if we change our anchor point. So it's defaulted to the center, but we can change it to give us a better result. Let's say we wanted to add it to a letter. So here I'm going to just add a nice VFX. I'm going to scale it up and we're going to take a look at the. So we have here our VFX text and now I can select the squash up preset. And remember, if I click on this now, the preset is going to start at this point, which is 13 frames in. It's going to start wherever our playhead is. So if I were to undo that, then move our playhead to the beginning, and then also select the squash recoil, it's going to now start at the beginning. And if we hit play, we can see we get this effect here. Now most of our scale effects actually end up looking cooler if we move the anchor. So I'm going to move the anchor to the bottom of it here, and we can see that we're going to get a much different effect. It just pops right into place there. So again, it helps a lot if we move the scale anchor point. So I just created four different circles here. And I can take my first circle and add a, let's try the slingshot preset. If we play through this, we can see that it goes up and then out of frame. It goes a little bit too high though, so we want to change our scale here so that it doesn't go quite as high. So I'm going to change this to 0.6. And we can see there, it's in frame. Cool, so it's staying in our frame the whole time. So we can use our scale in many situations to help us out. And now I can just simply take this, hit control C, and paste it to all of these other layers. Now they're all going to do it, and I can even offset them just slightly to give us some variation. We've created this pretty cool effect. So feel free to download the script and play around with it. We have a bunch of different presets here that you can use, position, scale, and rotational presets. And you can download all of these for free off vfxbro.com by clicking on the link in this video or in the description.